everyone welcome back today we'll be looking at neo we've got some big news to go through some huge announcements now recently i've launched a blog a blog for this youtube channel and it's called monument this is what our blog looks like and today the article that we'll be talking about is my article on my blog so this is cool so i'm really happy to announce this blog and this brings us one step closer to becoming an even more official organization because now we don't just have a YouTube channel, we also have a publication online, a blog on site. So today we're looking at the all new unveil flagship SUV by Neo, the EC7. And it comes with up to 572 miles of range. This is exciting. So let's start my article because I wrote this article and it's quite interesting to read an article that you wrote. I'm guessing I'm going to see a few spelling mistakes. It happens, but I'll try my best to correct them. So let's get started, right? Neo is expanding rapidly into Europe. The fast growing Chinese brand, Neo, the new SUV coupe, tipped to be one of the longest range EVs on the market. Neo is taking the fight to Tesla and the fans are loving the thrilling competition. And trust me, we are. The community as a whole, the Tesla community less so because they don't really care about Neo at the moment. But the Neo community, they're definitely pumped. They're excited because Neo is doing what VW can't do, what re what VW refused to do. And Neo is a much smaller company with less funds. So yes, Neo is a Chinese company, and Tesla is competing in China now since they built the factory. They've been selling vehicles over there. But lately, they haven't been selling as well as Tesla like, as well as Tesla would expect. And that's because of the competition of other EV companies such as Neo. And there's many other companies like Xpeng in China as well that are being competitive. There's also Polestar in China as well. Many other companies. So it's competitive over there as well. By the way, let me know. Do you like the article? Do you like the images I'm using for our article? This is the interior of the vehicle. It looks absolutely amazing. Look at the seats. So simplistic, so beautiful, so amazing. I can't wait until Neo arrives in the UK. They're coming to the UK with the ET5 and I'm super excited. Now, my new favorite Neo vehicle is definitely this one because this is a SUV that looks a bit like a sedan, that looks a bit like an SUV. It's a crossover. It's a direct competitor towards the Polestar the Polestar 4 that's being unveiled next year. It's a direct competitor. I'm telling you, these vehicles are oddly similar in so many ways. So let's continue with that article, shall we? So the all new EC7 coming with 644 brake horsepower, 627 pound feet twin motors, four wheel drive powertrain. This enables the vehicle to complete a zero to 62 miles per hour acceleration within 3.8 seconds. So yeah, it's going to be pretty fast. It's not going to be slow at all. Neo recently embarked on their new quest into the European market with the ES7. It's sold in the European market as the EL7. This is to avoid conflict with Aldi because Aldi believes that the naming for Neo vehicles are too similar to the naming of Aldi vehicles. They're currently in a lawsuit all about this. It's, it's, it's kind of wild. But at the same time, I believe it's unnecessary because the Neo naming, we know there's an S7 Aldi, that part sounds similar, but the E, the ES7, that doesn't sound like an Aldi vehicle, but Aldi, Aldi is saying we have a point. Now the ET5 and ET7 saloon, these are all in the European market now as well. Yes. Really and truly, Neo is becoming more established in Europe, but long term, they want to build a factory here for sure. And the question is, where in Europe will they build a factory? I can definitely rule out the UK. I don't think it will be the UK. I think it will be in mainland Europe where they can distribute the vehicles without crossing any water. It's just less hassle, less cost. You know, it's just simpler. Now it is without doubt possible that the new EC7 SUV will be joining the Neo family in Europe eventually. There is no scheduled date to confirm this at the moment. The EC7 is fully focused on luxury. The car comes with lounge style interior, advanced cabin technology without losing the ambitions of high range mobility. And this high range mobility is nearly 600 miles. 572 miles is just wild. It's just wild. The question is, 
if they actually do this, boy oh boy, competition will get really nice. Not to mention, with these new vehicles, you can swap out your batteries. You don't have to charge them. You can swap out your battery for a newly fresh charge battery in about five to 10 minutes. Absolutely amazing from Neo. Now, let me be honest with you, completely honest. I'm spotting a lot of spelling mistakes in my articles, so I'm going to go back and edit these mistakes. After I finish this video, of course, it happens. I'll just learn from making these mistakes. I am new to this, of course. Now, this allows the vehicle to compete with the Aldi Q8 e-tron fastback, the Tesla Model Y SUV, and the Polestar 4 upcoming EV. Now, I'm going to make some content about this information. Trust me, I'm going to make I'm already writing an article about that. And I'll probably turn that article into a video eventually. It's going to be nice. Neo CEO and founder William Lee did not discuss the future plans for any European launch at the E7 release event. That's that's true. There wasn't any information about the vehicle launch into Europe. So we don't actually know when the EC7 is coming to Europe. But I hope it's coming soon because it's, it's the perfect size SUV. It's not too big, but it's not too small. It's what a lot of people are buying these days such as the Tesla Model Y. That's why that vehicle is so popular with a lot of people because it's a mid-size SUV for families, for friends, for adventures, for trip, for camping. It's not the fully fledged. If you want something bigger, you can always get something bigger. Probably, probably comes with seven seats. Now, like I said previously, Neo has confirmed their plans to begin selling cars in, in the UK by the end of 2023. That's the end of next year. However, the company is only committed to bringing the ET5 here along with another unknown model. There will be another model that is unknown. It could be the EC7. I would love for this vehicle to come to the UK. Seriously. I would love to get this vehicle in the UK. Two vehicles from, from Neo, uh, uh, the, the cheapest sedan, that's the ET5, and the perhaps the cheapest SUV, which will be the, e the EC7. It will come with three different variations, and I'm going to go into that information soon. The EC7 is a high-performance and luxurious electric vehicle as standard. The vehicle features a roof-mounted LiDAR device and a 32 high-precision sensor for level 4 autonomous driving, bringing the company a step further to fully autonomous driving. I've heard new information recently that NEO is developing a fully driving system software with another company. i perhaps make a video about that if you'd like me to. Leave a comment. Let me know. Should I make a video about that subject? I will. I'll talk about it because... No one else is really focusing on self-driving like Tesla. And Neo is the perfect candidate. They are the perfect candidate. They already have a ton of vehicles on the road. A lot of vehicles. They already have a lot of vehicles on the road. My goodness. I think they have about a quarter of a million vehicles on the road already. Not as much as Tesla, but it is a lot more than Polestar for sure. So it's time we start getting this the software rolled out so we can start collecting data. Because there needs to be competition in the market besides Tesla. There needs to be. And based on the information that I've gathered, Polestar Volvo Geely doesn't seem to be making any any sudden moves, any immediate decision on self-driving cars. They have plenty of other software built into their vehicles, but self-driving, not so much. Autopilot, like lane assist on the highway, they do have that. But full self-driving is not something that they seem to be working on fully and i'm curious why why aren't you working on full self-driving for tesla sorry for polestar vehicles for volvo vehicles for geely vehicles why volvo needs to needs to start working on their self-driving software but i haven't heard anything on it if i did i would have made a video trust me if you've heard something about it leave a leave a comment let me know i want to make a video about this now the EC7 comes in a few different variants. That's what I said before, starting with the entry level 75 kilowatts battery. The company said the EC7 will travel up to 300 miles per charge and rises to 395 miles with the larger 100 kilowatts battery. The maxed out 150 kilowatts battery is set to have a range of up to 572 miles. So need to say, that's not going to be cheap now, is it? It's, it's not going to be cheap. But still, it's really exciting that Neo is creating all of this stuff. So that's the end of our article, which means that it's the end of our video. Apart from the incorrect spellings, what do you think about the blog? What do you think about the site? What do you think about the design? I wanted to go with something extremely simple for now. 
if it has potential in the future, we'll obviously upgrade it, change it, make it look better in every way we can. But let me know. What do you think? Check, check out the site, by the way. Share the links. Share it with your friends if they're interested in electric vehicles. Because this blog is going to be electric vehicle focused. That's one. Of, and I'll also focus on 3D art and architecture and stuff like that. But the main focus is electric vehicles. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.